On today's episode, I'll show you how to install my favorite extruder top, the EZR from Simi CNC. I'll install it on an Ender 2 Pro. I'll show you how to calibrate the E-steps, and then we'll print a little bit of wood on today's Film of Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. I have several Ender 2 Pros, but this particular one, there's something wrong with this extruder top. I cannot get it to stop creating these shavings from the filament. So I'm actually just going to replace it with an EZR. I prefer the EZR because it traps the filament, and if you're using like TPU, soft TPU, it can't escape the gear. The EZR extruder top from Simi CNC comes as a kit, and there's actually more parts here than you really need, so let me show you how to install it. Step 1, disconnect power. Next, I'll disconnect the stepper motor connector. I'll unscrew this top screw, and that way I can lift off the idler arm and also get to the spring. You want to save this spring because I'm going to recommend you use this instead of the one that comes with the EZR. Unscrew the PTFE coupling. Remove the pressure adjustment screw so you can get to the screw below it. The final step is to remove the three screws that hold the extruder top to the stepper motor. Once you get these three screws out, you can lift the motor off the printer. Once you have the motor off, you can easily loosen the set screws and take the gear off. And notice there's a flat spot on the shaft. Now we're ready to assemble the EZR, and I recommend you use the original spring from the original extruder because the new spring is too strong, can actually squish TPU and cause a blockage. Slide that original spring into the slot of the red arm. Put the metal filament guide and PTFE holder into its slot on the base. This is the trickiest part. You gotta slide this plastic cover into the spring at an angle, squish that a little bit, and then get everything to line up, including over the top of the filament guide. Once that's done, you should be able to push the spring and see it move smoothly. The EZR comes with three different screws for different printers. We're going to use the middle one for the Ender 2 Pro. Put one in each location as shown here. They should drop in, but you may have to push a couple of them to get all the way through. These line up with the motor, so they're going to mount through the mount on the printer and into the motors. Just lift the motor up, and then we'll tighten all four screws. I'm using the screwdriver's shaft to turn the screws because I don't want to strip the motor. So this way my fingers will slip before that could happen. After those are in, you can use a regular screwdriver handle to tighten them all the way up. I'll turn the motor shaft so the flat spot is pointing to the right. Now we can take the included gear, which only has one set screw, loosen it so it slides on, but line up that set screw to the flat spot and then tighten it up. Before it's completely tight, push the top of the gear down so it's flush with the top of the cover. Now I like to take a small piece of filament and run it through this thing back and forth and then take a look at it from the side and make sure that that gear is lined up at the center of the filament. You should also see teeth marks at the center of the filament indicating that it's properly aligned. The screw in PTFE coupling needs to be removed so I'll remove the lock, press the clip and pull that off. Then I'll get rid of that groove section and I'll cut this off with a PTFE cutter. Another trick I like to do is take a drill bit and spin it manually into the PTFE tubing. This cuts a nice funnel and makes it easier to load filament. Now I'll slide on the lock over the PTFE tubing and slide the PTFE tubing into the metal guide and push it all the way in until it stops. And then flip the lock around and lock it into the coupling. You want to make this gap as small as possible. Take that piece of filament and slide it in back and forth. Make sure everything lines up. Now we can reconnect the stepper motor and we're ready to calibrate the E-steps. Take a long piece of filament and mark a zero point and also mark a point 120 millimeters down from that zero point. So we know that's exactly 120 millimeters from point to point. Now put it into the EZR until that first zero point is right at the edge. Even though we're not going to push it through the nozzle, the firmware requires that we heat up the nozzle before it'll turn the stepper motor. So we'll preheat PLA hot end up to 200 degrees. Now we're ready for the next step. Go to the motion menu, and then move axis, and then extruder, and then move 10 millimeters, and then adjust it to show 100 millimeters. We want it to move exactly 100 millimeters. The motor will then turn and pull the filament in. You can see the second mark here approaching the end. And then measure once it stops from the end to that mark. And here we're 12 millimeters. If the E-steps were correct, it would be 20 millimeters. So we got to find the E-steps. You go to the configuration menu, then you go to advanced settings, 
and then you scroll down to the steps per millimeter and then the E steps. You can see it's set to 100.1. So now we take the expected 100 divided by the 120 minus our measurement of 12, multiply that times that 100.1 and it gives us a new value of 92.7 steps. So now we go back to the configuration menu, advanced settings, scroll down to the steps per millimeter, scroll down to the E steps, and we're going to change this to that 92.7. Now we want to save this, so we go back to where the advanced settings was, scroll further down in their store settings, click that, and it'll store that 92.7. Do it all again, run 100 millimeters, and now we're spot on, 20 millimeters, so it's perfect. And that's how you install an EZR on your Ender 2 Pro. I love this Hatchbox PLA wood filament. It's hard to get sometimes, and I found they had it on Amazon. I bought some, and it prints beautifully with my good profile and a 0.4 nozzle. And I didn't see any signs of shavings left behind on the EZR, so problem solved. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up here. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.